it is a hot summer afternoon in the month of April and you have to go to work. What would you do? Take the train or the Uber? And after coming back from a tiring day at work, would you prefer to cook or just swiggy it? The answers are very obvious. When we are given a choice, we would always want to go with the convenient option, right? Which is giving us the right kind of comfort and also helping us out in that situation. But have you ever considered the cost of this convenience and how it is impacting your entire budget? Watch this video till the end because we shall explain as to how you should consider this cost of convenience in your budgeting and put a proper budget in place. Namaste, this is Akriti Agarwal from Wealth Cafe where we help you make smarter money decisions. And as we said, it's April and it's the time of budgeting and tax planning. Whenever you hear the word budgeting, you may get a picture in your head of someone sitting and doing calculations of every small thing that they're spending their money on. And of course, that is why budgeting seems to be a very daunting task and we try to push it as much as possible. We've got a very simple approach to your budgeting called the Gulak approach. Yes, it's very simple. How as kids, we always used to segregate our money into different gulags and keep some money aside for that party we wanted to throw or that cycle we wanted to buy. Well, we can do the similar thing with our bank accounts and also budget properly. But before we jump into that, let us get into it step by step. Of course, the first step is to identify how much you are spending each month. So, well, yes, you will have to write down your expenses, but this is a one-time task if done properly. So, what you can do is just make a note of your regular monthly expenses and figure out that of your total income, how much you are spending each month and how much you are saving. It's very important to also have some savings each month. Well, what you can do is before going ahead with the video, pause the video right now and do this activity right now. Once you've done that, the next step would be to have two bank accounts. In the digital form, your bank accounts are nothing but your good luck. And what you do is at the beginning of each month, when you get your salary, you transfer your savings. The number that you figured out in your step one, say in my case, that is 30%. So of my income, say, which is 50,000 rupees, I transfer 30%, that is 15,000 rupees, into my second bank account, which I'm going to call as an investment bank account. So I have segregated my money into two good lucks, one in which I get my income and second in which I transfer my savings. So now my two good lucks would have one 35,000 rupees for my monthly expenses and 15,000 rupees of my monthly savings. Now the savings good luck is off. I will make all the investments from this savings good luck and it's no longer available for my monthly expenses. But this big good luck of 35,000 rupees on my bank account is open to me to spend on anything and everything that I like through the month. Yes, no judgments, no calculations, no apps and no Excel sheets. You can use this money as and how you like. Because what you've done is you have paid yourself first and you've transferred your savings aside and you're already investing that money. So, well, you can pause the video and just segregate your bank accounts right now. It's the 6th of April, right? So, you've just got your income and you must have not spent so much yet. So, transfer your fixed savings into the second bank account. And once you've done that, come back to the video. Now, your final step, step three, is keeping a track of your expenses. Well, by that, I don't mean that you have to sit and write down all the expenses, but you know that you have only 35,000 rupees to spend versus the 50,000 rupees that you thought you had earlier. Now of this 35,000 rupees, say by the 20th or the 22nd of the month, you've already spent 30,000 rupees and you have next 10 days to spend 5,000 rupees. So what do you do? You reduce your convenience cost. Swiggy less, Uber less, Zomato less or just reduce your other things that you spend your money on for conveniences and just spend on necessities. And when you have more money to spend 
then go ahead enjoy your money this is after all what you deserve for doing budgeting properly at the beginning of the month we know that this may take a little time to getting used to but it is very important that you segregate your income into two buckets and the first good luck will always be your savings once that is out of the picture you're left with second bank account and the money it and you're free to spend wherever you want so we hope that this video will encourage you to start looking at your income in a better manner and not just erratically spending it here and there and if you go back and see your convenience cost will also be one of the major costs that you spend on and we don't want you to stop doing that but just start looking at it from an angle that only so much is there to spend so just make a more informed decision so when you know a friend who's struggling with budgeting or who just told you yaar i don't have money to pay for this bill maybe you can send this video to them and they will know better until then don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and watch out this space every wednesday and saturday for freshly brewed content from wealth cafe